Hello, this is Richard Price. Today we're going to look at ergonomics of dental curing lights. Some curing lights may perform really well on the laboratory bench, but then when you try to put them in the mouth, they don't work that well. Here we can see two different designs of lights, and you can kind of guess that this one's probably got better access than this one here. But still, there are many different designs of curing lights like this, and like this, and like this, and you know, kind of which one is the best. So let's have a look using this mannequin here. So taking this curing light here, we're going to see if we can access the, the last molar in the, in the mouth. And look how wide the patient has to open for us to be able to get in so that we can light cure that last restoration back there if you had to place one in the molar tooth. Let's try a different light here. We can see how wide the patient has to open to access the back teeth and the lower incisors. Now we'll switch to a different light. And here we can see with a lower profile head, the patient doesn't have to open up nearly as much for us to access that last restoration. So have a look again. You really have to open up very wide to access that last tooth back there. And even then, it's kind of tricky for us to get in there. In contrast, if you take a, a low profile head such as this, then we can get this light in right to the very back and the patient doesn't have to open up quite so much. Same thing applies to this one here. We can see how you can get into that back tooth quite easily. And it's not just the back tooth that's important, it's also the, the front teeth. Can you access the lower incisors. And we try using this light here to try and access those lower incisors. You can kind of see how, how hard it is to, to get in there with that angle tip. Trying a different light, we'll see if we can get in there. Well, I can't access that except from the top, so I'll really get the patient to open up wide. And I can finally kind of get in there, but it's really hard to get in there. You can see I'm having to contort my body to try and get into these lower incisors. Whereas a curing light such as this, you can get in there very easily. Thank you very much for watching this video. I think you've seen that the ergonomics of curing lights is really important when you're making a decision which light to buy. My recommendation is to buy a light that's got a low profile head such as this, rather than a light such as this. Examples of low profile heads would be these lights here that have low profile heads. These are good. Or if you're going to buy one with a light guide, then lights such as this and this are good. They give you good access to the posterior teeth. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on light curing. Cheerio.